Hello and welcome back to All About Community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris. I am your host and my guest is Dr. Cornice Enix, a well-known physician right here in the Bay Area. And Dr. Ennis, when we went to break, we were talking about the four regional hugs, and you were about to explain how that works. Yes, thank you. First of all, it's important to understand that uh, there is a high level of diversity mm -hmm. in the community and college system. As a matter of fact, and for example, some 60% of African Americans in the state of California. 60%. 60% who pursue higher education start with the community college. And that is a phenomenal number. And it is not as high in other parts of the country. Mm -hmm. But black and brown students pursue the community college education uh, for a wide variety of reasons. Um, but <clears throat> so that's why um, we start with the community colleges um, uh, here in the state of California. Now, insofar as the regional hubs of, of healthcare opportunity are concerned, uh, they are four in number, mm -hmm. and a hub consists of three community colleges, of which we have 122 here in the state of California, about that. One or two four-year institutions, mm -hmm. a medical school, and a community health organization, such as a clinic or a hospital. That group represents a hub or a okay. regional hub of healthcare opportunity. Now, is there anything that you do? Uh, with, say, say for example, the hub had you, you just said they have three, at least three uh, three uh, colleges, community community colleges. colleges that's right. Anything that they do special that entices uh, uh, the students to go into this particular area? Oh, oh, absolutely. So, um, first of all, we were awarded. That is, this program was awarded some $10.5 million From by- From whom? Who gave you $10.5 million? <laughs> That's a lot of money. Right. But of course, when you think about it, it's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money, of course. Um, we were awarded that by the state of California. So the state uh, of California endorses this concept? Uh, uh, yes, we were in the budget for 2021. Um, and uh, it took um, a tremendous amount of work by legislators, um, and um, uh, we eventually were placed in the budget by the governor, um, and um, uh, we're very pleased Who about that. Who are some of, just uh, if you have a couple of names, of some of the sponsors or supporters of this concept? Well, uh, well there were any number of legislators I would say Melissa Hurtado uh, stands out mm -hmm. um, among the uh, legislators who were um, instrumental in getting this, um, uh, this done. Um, and that's for a very special reason. You see here in the state of California, uh, while um, African Americans represent some six to six and a half percent. Correct. We only represent some 2.5 or 3 percent of the physicians. Uh, with Hispanics or Latinos, while they represent some 45, 48 percent, they only represent 5 percent of the physicians. So there is an enormous uh, disparity, and that disparity is directly linked to the poor health outcomes in many of those, um, in many of those communities. Um, and so, so that is why uh, Melissa Hurtado uh, was so instrumental, but there were, there were several others around, around the state. Now let's talk about the federal. I know that there is a bill just introduced, I believe, by Congresswoman Barbara Lee whom I have the uh, pleasure of chairing her finance uh, committee. 
I believe it's H, uh, HR 9105 or something like that. That's right. Well, got it right, 9105. That's right. Uh, it's designed to do similar. So, so specifically, what will this legisla federal legislation have passed in Congress, uh, what will it do? So we are targeting primary care physicians um, and psychiatrists, uh, uh, pediatricians, OBGYN, family practitioners. Uh, that is what's needed in these communities to bring about a more equitable healthcare outcome in our um, country. Um, and so the Department of Health and if it passes, mm -hmm. the Department of Health and Human Services will will orchestrate um, um, the program. Um, I've been, uh, or we, the coalition, has been working with Barbara Lee for the better part of a year. Uh, as a matter of fact, we would meet monthly, uh, sometimes twice a month, uh, with uh, Barbara Lee's team and the team here in California uh, to develop the bill. Um, uh, to make certain that it was suitable um, uh, for a national level versus uh, simply here in the state of California. And um, uh, it went before Congress just um, two weeks ago. It was taken there by uh, Congresswoman uh, Barbara Lee. And, 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 and on that note, uh, obviously we're going to have to go to break, but mm -hmm. uh, that's another reason why it is so important to support Congresswoman Barbara Lee. I had yes. to get that plug in. Yes. Because Barbara Lee speaks for me. Yes. Uh, we're going to have to go to break, so don't touch that remote. We will be right back with All About Community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris, and my guest is Dr. Cornice Ennix.